Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. The Ground Proximity Warning System, GPWS, alerts the crew about terrain and vertical flight path dangers. The GPWS operates below 2,450 feet radio altitude. The GPWS does not alert the crew of flight toward vertically shear terrain. or of slow descents into unprepared terrain while configured for landing. The GPWS includes a GPWS control panel and below glide slope lights. Oral enunciations are broadcast on two overhead flight deck loudspeakers. The GPWS has seven ground proximity alerts. If the airplane barometric descent rate becomes large, the sink rate oral sounds continuously and the red pull-up words show on the attitude indicators. Pull up. If the descent rate becomes dangerous, a whoop-whoop pull-up oral warning sounds and the red pull-up words show on the attitude indicators. Terrain. Terrain. If radio altitude decreases quickly, the terrain oral sounds two times and the red pull-up words show on the attitude indicators. Pull up. If the condition is not corrected after terrain sounds, the whoop-whoop pull-up oral warning sounds and the red pull-up words show on the attitude indicators. If barometric altitude decreases too much during the initial takeoff climb or during a go-around, the don't sink oral sounds continuously. The red pull-up words show on the attitude indicators. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. The too low terrain oral sounds continuously when the airplane is below 1,000 feet radio altitude at high air speeds. The red pull-up words show on the attitude indicators. Too low gear. Too low gear. Too low gear. Too low gear. At low air speeds, the too low gear oral sounds continuously. If the airplane flies near the terrain with the landing gear up, the red pull-up words show on the attitude indicators. Too low flaps, too low flaps, too low flaps, too low flaps. When the landing gear are down, but the flaps are not in a landing position, the red pull-up words show on the attitude indicators and the too low flaps oral sounds continuously.
Glide slope. Glide slope. Below glide slope alerts arm below 1,000 feet radio altitude with landing gear down. Flight below an ILS glide slope causes continuous glide slope orals and the below glide slope lights to illuminate. At first, the oral sounds at one half the volume. Glide slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. Continued flight below glide slope changes the glide slope alerts to full volume spoken at a faster rate. Bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. The bank angle alert tells the crew of 35, 40, and 45 degree bank angles. Minimums. 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. During the final approach, a voice speaks minimums and radio altitudes. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. If wind shear conditions are sensed, a two-tone siren followed by wind shear sounds. The red wind shear word shows on the attitude indicators. The wind shear alert inhibits all other ground proximity alerts. A wind shear warning stays active until wind shear conditions are no longer sensed. Now let's look at the GPWS alerts that can be inhibited or canceled. Push the below glide slope light to cancel below glide slope alerts. Glide slope. Glide slope. Cancel the glide slope alert. Glide slope. The below glide slope alerts cancel if you capture the glide slope. If a landing with less than landing flaps is necessary, use the ground proximity flap inhibit switch. To use, lift the switch guard and raise the switch. Inhibit the ground proximity flap alert. If a gear up or partial gear down landing is necessary, use the ground proximity gear inhibit switch. To use, lift the guard and raise the switch. Inhibit the ground proximity gear alert. For pre-flight operations, Make sure that the ground proximity in-up light is not illuminated. And the switch guards are closed. Momentarily push the system test switch to test the GPWS system. The below glide slope light and the in-up light illuminate. Pull up. Wind shear, wind shear, wind shear. The wind shear and pull up words show on the attitude indicators. The whoop whoop pull up and the wind shear orals sound. If you push and hold in the system test switch for more than 10 seconds, all oral alerts sound. The system test is inhibited from takeoff until above 1,000 feet radio altitude.
Sink rate. Sink rate. Full up. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Don't sink. Don't sink. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Too low gear. Too low gear. Too low gear. Too low gear. Too low flaps. Too low flaps. Too low flaps. Too low flaps. Glide slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. Bank angle. Minimums. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. For this exercise, a landing with less than full landing flaps is necessary. Inhibit ground proximity flap alerts. Use the ground proximity flap inhibit switch to inhibit the GPWS alert. For this exercise, a gear up or partial gear down landing is necessary. Inhibit ground proximity gear alerts. <laughs> 